All right, boys and girls. Do I have any girls? Yes, Kaylee is listening, so there's at least one other girl besides going to be listening. We're continuing on with The Adventure of Chatter the Red Squirrel by Thornton W. Burks. We are going to be at Chapter 3. Uh, Chatter tells Sammy J about Shadow the Weasel. So, without further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> Chatter hurried through the green forest. He didn't know just where he was going. He had but one thought, and that was to get as far away from from Shadow the Weasel as he could. It made him have cold shivers all over every time he thought of Shadow. Seems to me you're in a great hurry, said a voice from a pine tree he was passing. Chatter knew that voice without looking to see who was speaking. Everybody in the green forest knew that voice was the voice of Sammy J. It looks to me as if you're running away from someone, jeered Sammy. Chatter wanted to stop and pick a quarrel with Sammy as he usually did. <clears throat> when they met, but the fear of Shadow the Weasel was still upon him. I, I, I am, he said in a very low voice. <clears throat> Is that Mom, Mom, Sammy? Why, why, why did this say, I... Because he's out of breath. Sammy looked as if he thought he hadn't heard right. Never before had he known Chatterer to admit that he was afraid, for you know Chatterer is a great boaster. It must be something very serious to frighten Chatterer like that. What's that? Sammy asked sharply. I was knew you to be a coward, but this is the first time I have ever known you to admit it. Mom, Who are you running see, away from? I can see the picture. There's no picture right now. No. You can see the back. Yeah. Shadow the, the Weasel, replied Chatter, still in a very low voice, as if he were afraid of being overheard. Shadow the Weasel is back in the green forest. I have just had such a narrow escape. Ho, oh, cried happening. Sammy. This is important. That's I thought true. Shadow was up in the old pasture. If he has come back to the green forest, folks ought to know it. Where is he now? <clears throat> Chatterer stopped and told Sammy all about his narrow escape and how he had left Shadow the Weasel in the hollow of the chestnut tree with Redtail the Hawk watching for him to come out. Sammy's eyes sparkled when Chatterer told him how he had pulled the tail of old Redtail. And he doesn't know who did it? He thinks it was Shadow? Concluded Chatterer with a weak little grin. Oh, and he doesn't know who did it. He thinks it was Shadow, concluded Chatterer with a weak little grin. Ho, 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 ha, 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 laughed Sammy Jay. I wish I had been there to see it. Then he suddenly grew grave. Other folks certainly ought to know that Shadow is back in the green forest, said he, so that they might be on their guard. When the, then if they get caught, it's their own fault. I think I'll go spread the news. You see, for all his mean ways, Sammy Jay does have some good in him, just as everybody does. Well, we can discuss the algae later. <clears throat> And he dearly loves to tell important news. I I wish you could go first of all and tell my cousin Happy Jack the Gray Squirrel, said Chatterer, speaking in a hesitating way. Sammy Jay leaned over and looked at Chatterer sharply. I thought you and Happy Jack were not friends, said he. You always seem to be quarreling. Chatterer looked a little confused. <clears throat> but he was very quick with his tongue, his chatter. That's just it, he replied quickly. That's just it. If anything should happen to Happy Jack, I wouldn't have him to quarrel with, and it is such fun to see him get mad. Now, of course, the real reason why Chatter wanted Happy Jack warned is because deep down inside, he was ashamed of a dreadful thought that he had come to him of leading Shadow the Weasel to Happy Jack's house so that he himself might escape. It had been a dreadful thought, a cowardly thought, and Chatter had been really ashamed that he should have ever had such a thought. He thought now that if he could do something for Happy Jack, he would feel better about it. Sammy Jay promised to go straight to Happy Jack and warn him that Shadow the Weasel was back in the green forest. And off he started, screaming the news as he flew so that all the little people in the green forest might know. Chatterer listened a few minutes and then started on. Where shall I go, he muttered. Where shall I go? I don't dare stay in the green forest, for now Shadow will never rest until he catches me. And that is chapter three. Yes, Edward. Um, what, what did what did he scream about? He was not an it, it, not a scared scream, but um, jaybirds tend to screech when they are talking, and so he's screaming the news that the weasel shadow the weasels in town. And he'll eat you if you're not careful. Okay, say goodbye. Bye, 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 bye